nothing better than pregame festivities for the World Series. Game three is coming up next. Welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. The World Series on MLB The Show coming up. The Atlanta Braves taking on the Houston Astros. John Chabi and Chris Singleton on the call. A lot going on in this series as we get ready for Game 3, Singy. And Boog, this is as close to an elimination game as you can get without it actually being one. Going down 3-0 with more or less just in this thing. So this game's going to tell us whether we're going to have a real series in store for us or if we're just going to be packing our bags and going home. A lot of people feel these teams are more evenly matched. The first two games would indicate. So we'll see if we get a bounce-back performance in this one. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. First pitch moments away and starting in this one, Christian Javier. What do we need to know here about the right hand? Well, the big thing is that the way he holds his curveball, it's more of a knuckle curve. And because of that, it's less predictable in terms of the break for the hitter. That makes it that much harder to hit this guy. All right, ready to go here. Here's Ronald Acuna Jr. at the plate. The wind and the pitch. And that's outside. And we're underway in game three. And the pitch. Got it started a little too early. Strike one. One ball, one strike. Up that's and in. And that's ball two. Packed two house here at Minute Maid. The pitch. Swing and a miss. And the count is two and two. And he deals. That one out to right. Tucker grabs it on the run. Here's the Atlanta Braves lineup. Chris, this is a lineup offensively that could be really good for years to come. They're deep, first and foremost, but the way that they can manipulate their personnel for matchups and everything else, it's... Uh, very intelligent the way that they use their team and I, I think it creates a little bit of uh, uncertainty for hey. opposing teams especially in a big game big series oh, Ozzy Albies in the box now no balls in a strike hey. got the back going too soon oh, and two. strike two wow no fair right there I mean that slider didn't move to the very last moment. Incredibly difficult nope. to pick that up. Just kind of have to tip your cap on that pitch. One out, base is empty. Good oh, eye in that spot. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. That okay. one misses, and that's ball three. Way to lay off that fastball up right there. You're looking for something you see well that you can handle, but you also have to keep the discipline so that you're not popping up pitches that are just a little too high. Yeah, there's ball nope. four. Ball four. You know, I think he's okay with that outcome. Hey, it wasn't hey, an intentional hey, walk, hey, but hey, he wasn't exactly hey, trying hey. to attack the zone either. Hey. One gone runner at first. Michael Harris next up for the Braves. One, one. All these leads off first with one away. Just nope. missed. And another out. ball. The 2-1. Swings through that one for strike two. Two balls, two strikes. 
Ground ball left side could be two. One at second, and that's two. No runs, no hits, no errors. Now here come the Astros, no score. here at Minute Maid Park and starting this one Chris Sale Chris what are you looking for from him four pitch guy he's got some options to work with in terms of keeping hitters off balance so we'll see how he decides to utilize to go. those yeah, weapons we'll through this start here the right and whether or not he's able not to wrong. mix them all in early or if not he wants wrong. to hold something back a little bit later maybe second third time through the order and give them something no they haven't seen it's tough when you know a guy's got that in his back pocket as a hitter you really have to stay on your toes. On the corner at the knees for a strike. Tucker has been an all-star and a gold lover. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. And sale deals. On the ground to the left. And that should be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. And he's got a leadoff double. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer. And he hit the ball on the screws. So next up for Houston, Jeremy Pena. Third baseman playing on the edge of the grass looking for the sack bunt. Hey. And a big swing and a miss. All ones the count. And the pitch. Up the middle, Arcia. Whips it to first on the oh, run. On target. He got him. Nice play. That is good. No left Take a look at the lineup. We could be in for a power showcase today with the wind blowing out a lot of lift and separate, Chris. Well, we know guys are in this era definitely trying to hit the ball in the air regardless of the conditions. But I think even a little more so there's margin for error if you can get the ball up in the air. So, you know, you'll see at times, I'm sure, with two strikes, what looks like a half swing they can get out of the ballpark with a guy who's got decent pop. You're Don Alvarez at the plate now. That's ball one. One away with a runner at third here in game three of the World Series. Flips the corner, and now it's even one and one. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. To the right side. Loves it on the dive. Now two away as they get one across. to get him over and another ground out to get him in nice job to get that rbi that is say altuve up to him the here okay i'll expect oh, a back Tuve. and forth this entire game because of how good the offenses are and that drops in for a strike and it's even up Two down, base is empty, but one run across here in game three. Right side, Albies. Tosses to first, and that ends the inning. One run on one base hit, no errors, and no one left on. On to the second inning now from Minute Maid Park. It's the Astros one and the Braves nothing. Back here in Houston, and now it's Matt Olson's turn to hit. Matt Olson. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. And a foul ball. Chris, you and I have gotten to work some memorable postseason games together. One I look back on 2013 oh. ALCS game two, the David Ortiz Grand Slam. Liner, base hit. Oh. 
Here's Austin Riley. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. For me, boy, the game I remember is us calling the 2014 AL wildcard game. The Kansas City Royals hosting the Oakland A's. The Royals come from behind to win in extra innings and move on to the division series. They had such a great run that it ended up in the World Series losing to the San Francisco Giants. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. One ball, two strikes. Now fly ball to right center. McCormick trying to get there. Makes the grab. And there's one down. That is good. The left fielder, number 24, Jared Kelnick. Here's Jared Kelnick. And he swings and misses at the initial Hold offer. On, Ground ball could be two. There's one. There's seven double play already. This one ends the second inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. Now to the bottom of the second. It's the Astros one and the Braves nothing. And we're back. Lead bottom up. of the oh, inning. Oh, and now the center fielder, the Chaz center fielder. McCormick. He has consistently been one of the best in the sport against lefties, and yet the righties give him trouble. You know, you don't want to be labeled as that guy, but the numbers say what they say. Swing and a miss. Well, he's a good player, but if he wants to be great, he's going to have to figure it out against right-handed pitchers. There's so many right-handers in the game that you're going to see him one after another. So you would imagine with that many looks that, is, boy, that the adjustments got to be coming soon. And now it's right Alex hand. Bregman. Hey. Right through there for a strike. Sale, a former All-Star. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a changeup, and he works in a sinker. Ed Drummond, our umpire behind the plate in this one. Yeah, Boogie's a really fair umpire, both the pitchers and the hitters. So standard strikes on, he's consistent ball, with it. And the great thing is you don't see players question the calls too three. much. So that's a good thing in this day and age. And down on strikes he goes. That's the second out. Two outs, bases empty. Here's Mauricio Duvall. That clips the zone. One one. Two outs, base is empty. Swing and a miss as he was late. This guy's not wasting any pitches. Hitters got to get into swing mode. This is a good time to expand the zone. Throw something maybe down in the dirt. Struck him out looking. Astros go down one, two, three, but they lead it one to nothing. Back here in Houston, out of the third inning, now in for the Braves, Luis Guillorme. The pitch. Just off the outside edge, one and oh. Guillaume getting the start at third, hitting seventh in today's lineup. He joined the team as a free agent. In the air, right field, Tucker should have it. And there's one away. And now it's Travis Darno at the plate. And the first pitch misses for ball one. The Astros leading by a run. We're here in the top half of inning number three. And a swing miss. Swings and misses. 
slider so far in this at bat to get ahead in the count and it clearly shows there was a game plan in mind for how to attack him in the box. Three. Punch out there to Bob. Here's Orlando Arcia. Orlando Arcia. Slug on Belton. That one back there. And gone! He crushes that one to center field. And it ties it up. It's 1-1. This game is breathing new life thanks to that home run. And that's exactly what they needed. with this kind of velocity so critical that you move the ball around work quickly and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity he was all over that fastball back to the top of the lineup Ronald Acuna Jr. next up for the Braves ball oh, one. one low counts one and oh front with the swing and that one is strike one, one. It normally does damage on that pitch in that location just a swing and a miss there. I don't think you want to throw it again though. Not ball, close with strike. that one. Now two balls and a strike. Tied up here in the early going. Aye. Wait on that fastball. Well, he just threw that fastball <laughs> by him, elevated, and if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch a Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And the inning is over. Braves get one on the big fly. All even at one apiece. This is the World Series on the show. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now the first baseman, number 28. Number 28. The line of the pitch. And that one is lifted in the air. He's got it. One away. That's just a really nice catch on the run right there. Enough. He saved extra the bases pitcher. for sure. If the yeah, pitcher's yeah. his friend, he'll give him a second yeah. to catch his breath before he's ready to deal the next pitch. And here's the catcher, Yaner Diaz. Off the mark there. Ball one. Ball one Good slider no down and in can be so hard to get on plane with. You're better off taking that pitch. Right yeah. through there for a strike. The guy's going this good. He's retired seven in a row. You got to step out of the box, fake butt, do something to break it up. Out to short. Arcia. Slings it across. Oh. Out number two. The right fielder, number 30. Kyle. So the Houston lineup turns over. Kyle Tucker getting ready to hit. One for one with a double and a run score. And first offering is fouled off. Sale delivers. Swings through that one for strike two. A hit or two on the count. Right. Sure, you've got four pitches you can work with, but throw something you can command and get this at bat over with as quickly as possible. Hey. Got him swinging. So they make short work of him there. Game three moves on to the fourth. All tied 1-1. One, one. And welcome back to the ballpark. John Chambi with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Ozzie Albies. Javier back to work. Pitch misses there. Ball one. Swings through that. We got a ball one play. Ah. 
Swing and a miss. And a foul run at two. One ball, two strikes. That one drifts inside. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Right into the plate. Battling here as he fouls it away. And a pitch. And yeah, there's the ball. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Outside, and that is ball four. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play, a game plan that he's sticking to. He's just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. Go ahead, run on base. Michael Harris will hit next. Throw to first, and he's back in there. He swings and misses at the first pitch. Oh, one. One. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. He usually doesn't work out for success, but he can never predict baseball. And the right hander deals. Strike two. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Chasey swing, now an appeal to third. No swing, just held it back there. All tied up, top half of inning number four. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. The 2-2. And another ball. Still just the second batter of the inning. And on the mound, he's already thrown 13 pitches. They've got him working hard out there. And that's too that high ball, ball four. Oh, great back and forth in that at bat. He had to play off some really close pitches. And somehow, Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. First and second. No outs. Here is Matt Olson. And yep, that's outside. That and it's one to know. Two walks in the inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them. The one oh. And a swing and a miss. I think he's sitting on speed there. Albies, the lead runner at second, Paris at first with no outs. That misses the zone, and it's two and one. Good spot for the hitter, definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Left hand hitter waits. Rip down the line, way back there. It's got a chance, and it is foul. Two down. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Two on, one out. And now it's the Braves DH, Austin Riley. He's over for one. He's a guy who does it all. With the lack of contact in today's game, this guy hits for contact, so he delivers average. But there's on base and slugging, too. Fouled off. He was late. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power. But then, if this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable. Oh, because right he has the ability to get the barrel to the baseball, he's a threat deep into the count as well. Here's a 1-1. One -one. And a swing and a miss there. One ball, two strikes. That one is absolutely belted. And it's a one-hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. One runs in. The second run scores. And it's 3-1. to one. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. One out. Runner at second. Here's the left fielder, Jared Kelman. 
Swings through that one for strike one. On one. One out and a runner at second. Next Aye. offering is in for a strike. Very well executed changeup right there. If he can command the fastball consistently, that's going to be an important pitch in terms of him turning this outing around. Left-hand batter waits. Aye. Swing and a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically, he likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. Here's Luis Guillorme. Pitch misses. And that's ball one. Runner at second, two down. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. Man at second. Fought off foul. And here it comes. Good job to fight that one off. Two outs and one in scoring position. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Next That's offering misses down and away. Good job at damage control right there. But they'll pick up a couple runs here, both coming on this two-run double. It's now a 3-1 ball game. You're watching the World Series on the show. World Series game three. And stepping in for the Astros, Jeremy Pena. The wind of the pitch. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. Well, the offense has gotten going, and a pitcher wants to go out there, have a real quick inning, get those guys back into the dugout so those bats can stay hot. Line drive, base hit. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and whipped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. A chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Here's Jordan Alvarez. Grounded out his first time up. That misses. One and over. Rudder takes off. Up the middle. Base hit into the outfield. Rudder around third on his way to the plate. He'll score. And now they trail by one. Well, there you go. The RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring at back. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want. But his resume speaks for itself. Here's the former MVP, Jose Altuve. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting oh. anything over their heads. The one on. Into center. Harris has a beat on it. Harris pulls it in on the run. Now batting, center fielder, Chaz McCormick. Chaz McCormick now at the plate. He's 0 for 1. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning-ending double play. Yeah. That one's in there. It's 0-1. One. one run across in the frame so far. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Next yeah. offering is in for a strike. Caught him looking for the K. Well, 
offensive pitch, that slider from an opposite-handed pitcher that you Third usually pitch, see two. very well, but for now some well. reason he didn't pick it up, and right it just kind of got into the strike zone late, gave up on it a little bit early. Now it's Alex Bregman. 0 for 1, he struck out swinging last time. That oh. one off the mark, and that's ball one. Sale ready. Out to short. Arcia. They get the force. And that is that. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now a 3-2 ball game. Ready now for the fifth the inning. Line. Here's the catcher, the catcher. Travis Darno. Darno. Here comes a pitch. That hey. one at the knees for a strike. That's and that's down and away. Ball. And it is two and one. Swings and misses at the pitch off the plate. You can't really judge your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. You got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. Next offering is downstairs. Gets a piece and stays alive. He's mixing his pitches really well. Late on that fastball after seeing the changeup. See if he can elevate one. I think if he does, he'll get the swing and miss. On the ground. Whips it to first. One away here in the fifth. The batter, number five, fourth guy, Orlando. And next for Atlanta, Orlando Arcia. He's already homered here in this one. That nope. one's upstairs, ball one. Ball one. Nope, one and oh. There's a strike. I got one ball, one strike. Base is empty, one away. And we're at the top of the fifth. Good That's eye right ball. there. You got two balls, one strike. Arcia started after it, tried to hold up. Now a look to first. No swing. He held up. Clyde Washington with the call there. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Now two away. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just punched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. Justin Verlander gets the call from the pen. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings and a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. And now it's Ronald Acuna Jr. Liner, and that should be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. And he greets the new arm from the bullpen with a double. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. He really shot that one down the right field line and somehow found a way to keep it from slicing foul. One thing that was great about the approach is head was down all the way through the pitch, and that's how you do it. Ozzie Albies up to the plate. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Drifts towards it. He's got it. And that's the third out. One left for Atlanta, but they're up three to two.
We head to the Liga bottom of the fifth. The and now, Mauricio Dubon. Mauricio Dubon. The pitch. Bounce to the right. All these. Throws the first in time. And that's the first out in the bottom of the fifth. Now that number 28. And here's the first baseman. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. And what you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate. Try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. These hitters are going to have to find a way to be a little more patient, see more pitches per at bat. Otherwise, that bullpen's not going to have to work over there, and it's going to be advantage pitching all game long. Kicks and deals. Now a high fly ball out to left center. It gets down, a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Now a pretty good jump into good. that one. Great yeah, swing, yeah. nice balance and weight yeah, transfer. Yeah. And he got it to drop in out there in the deep part of the field. The plate is the Astros catcher, Yainer Diaz. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. All ones the count. And a pitch. And that one fouled off. The pitch. In the air, left side. And it drops in. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Back to back singles. Hooked around that pitch on the outside, but he was still able to square it up pretty nicely. And that takes quick, strong wrist to pull that off. Now a pretty big at bat coming up with a chance to even this ball game up. So the lineup flips over. And now it's going to be Kyle Tucker. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, boo. That one to first. Fire to second. Out. Back to first. Oh. Double play. Nice job getting over, and that ends the inning. No runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. We're through five. It's the Braves three and the Astros two. New inning getting started. So now to the plate for Atlanta. Michael Harris. The right-hander back to work. Harris tries to check his swing. Now look to third. And he won around. Rule the swing. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. And there's one away. Up next for Atlanta, the first baseman. Matt, Matt Olson up to the plate. Olson. One for two. Verlander, the tall righty, 41 years old. Can't forget to mention he's a former MVP. <laughs> Fastball for a strike. Well, I think that pitch surprised all of us. Right down the middle, it doesn't get a swing. Not very often you see a hitter lay off a cookie like that. High fly ball near the pole. That one is foul. Oh. Oh. He can get a swing and miss on that, but doesn't fool the hitter with that breaking ball. Nice job. Just couldn't keep it clear. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Now, Two now. outs, base is empty. Austin Riley next up for the Braves. Oh. Oh, he doesn't get the call. And that is ball one. Really close pitch down around the knees there. And you could see him asking where it missed. Probably doesn't agree, but it appears he's ready to move on to the next pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike one. One ball. Two one down, nobody on. And we're at the top half of the sixth. 
Next pitch is outside. Two and one the count now. He hasn't seen a fastball yet, but you've got to be ready to hit one because you doubt the pitcher wants this to go to a 3-1 count. Next offering in there for a strike. And the count is even two and two. Wouldn't chase that time. Ground ball to the right side. And it's through for a hit. And that keeps the inning alive. The left fielder, number 24, Jared, Jared Kellner. Kellner. Next up for the Braves. Foul ball there. Two outs. That one ripped right center field. And in one hops the wall. Coming home. He scores. It's 4-2. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and ripped it into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Man at second here with two away. Luis Guillorme next up for the Braves. Way inside, gets out of the way. slider right there if you've got any chance of hitting that pitch you have to wait until the absolutely last millisecond just a tough pitch to hit and not an easy one to throw either at the belt and fires keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball starting to go to one two a check on it to third. Nope, he held back. Man on second, two down. Chases that one out of the zone. They limit the damage here. So they pick up a run on two hits. No errors and a man left. Two, three, four due up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Braves four and the Astros two. Bottom of the six. Leading off, Jeremy Pena. Jeremy The line to kick the pitch. Oh, he finds a corner. That's strike one. Well, these Astros just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. Chasing pitches has been a big part of the story. We've seen it quite a bit today. It's been tough for them to make contact at times, and it just doesn't look like they're seeing it very well as a group. And on the mound, you know confidence has to be pretty high with all of the swings and misses. He's had him eaten out of the palm of his hand pretty much all game. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. He's got it. One up, one down. The lucky number 44, Yordan. Now it's Yordan Alvarez. a strike pretty frugal guy he is oh, very one. efficient with the pitch count in this one one down base is empty swing and a miss quickly in an 0-2 count oh, you've got to figure out a way to shorten your path to the baseball put it in place somewhere then you got a chance Cut on and miss struck him out Two up, two down. Chris, third time through the order, and a couple now of quick that. outs for the starter. Yeah, he's been very frugal today. Economical with the pitch count. Jose Altuve up next for the Astros. Well, one chase one, no that fight. time.
and another ball. He's been raking in recent games, and a big reason why getting ahead in counts. He's been able to do that consistently, and you see the results. And there's a strike on the outside corner. Swings and misses. Two and two. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Out to short. Arcia throws the first. And the Astros put down in order. Nothing doing for the offense that time. On to the seventh now in game three. It's the Braves four and the Astros two. Here at Minute Maid Park. All set for the start of the inning. Now it's the Atlanta catcher, Travis Darno. The pitch. Just no, missed. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Penn Murphy getting ready to go. Hader, a left hander, also throwing. Swing and a line drive curling foul down the right side. And the pitch. Dardo tries to hold up, appeal to first. He did not go around. I Swing mean. and a miss, chased it out of the zone. And now if you take a note, you see the hitter's willingness to chase that pitch upstairs, get deeper in the count, and try to climb the ladder. Fights it off, you'll see another. reliever and that one is lifted in the air Tucker makes the catch one down and the batter will be the shortstop Orlando Arcia he blasted one out earlier in the third just a solo home run but an important swing of the bat in this game we've already seen him do it once can he do it again First offering is fouled off. One down, base is empty. That misses. One and one. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Bases empty one away here in the late stages of game three. Started after the one two pitch, appealed to first, and he went around according to Clyde Washington. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr., one for three. Off the inside edge, and that's ball one. Strike one. Kicks and fires. In the air, out towards right center. McCormick trying to get there. No trouble here. Puts it away for the end. And that is that. Three up, three down that time. Midway in inning number seven, and it's time to stretch. It's the Braves four and the Astros two. New pitcher for the Braves, Joe Jimenez. These are the spots where relievers really make a name for themselves, late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. Now it's going to be Chaz McCormick. The center fielder. And the pitch. That misses the zone. 
1 and 0. Oh. Well, now that this is a bullpen game, it's clear that whichever bullpen steps up the most is likely going to come away with the W. Fastball for a strike. Hits and misses. It's a strikeout. A big first out here in the seventh field of punch out. Yeah, it just does so much to change the outlook of an important inning like this. When you got the leadoff hitter so critical in setting the table when you got a tight game like this. So a strikeout really puts them on their heels. Here's Alex Bregman. Foul off down the right side. And a foul ball. The Strohs down by a pair here at the bottom of the seventh. Ball two. And another ball. Two balls, two strikes. Spoils a two strike pitch, and he'll see another. Right hander kicks deals. And misses that. the zone. And now it's three and two. the catch up against the wall you see the perfect technique feeling for the wall with the bare hand while keeping his eyes on the baseballs it's coming down his glove in a good position to make the catch that's exactly how you do it Dubon nope. stands Ball in one. now looks at that one inside count one and oh and the righty deals Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Swings through that one for strike two. One ball, two strikes. And he hits a ground ball right side. All these over the first in time. And that is that. Nothing doing there for Houston. Still down by a count of four to two. Welcome back, and a new arm of the mound to start the eight. Josh Hader. Just trying to keep this one close here. And this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Here is Ozzy Albies up to hit. The switch hitter batting right. And he deals. Hater, multi-time all-star. He features a two-cent fastball, a slider, and he works in a changeup. Hit in the air, center field. Sizes this one up. Brings it in. And there's one down. The battle. The center field. Michael Harris. Michael. Next up for the Braves. Yeah. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think Whoa, the speed factors in the most. One down, base is empty. Well, he gets to balls that get by most people at that position. Just really impressive because there are certain times the ball comes off the bat, automatically that team that hit it thinks that they've got a base hit or they may have extra bases, and he just takes it away. Two balls, one strike. 
and a pitch. Pass ball for a strike. Two and two now. Line drive, base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage no, counts bad. where batting no, averages no, no, no. are just so much higher. No. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Next nope, offering nope. is down low. So now the hard throwing left hander Josh Hader on the hill. And when you look at the start of Hader's career, pretty incredible. Arguably one of the top beginnings to a career for any reliever in history. Base runner with a one way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. And now the lefty. That's, that's off the mark. Dude. Two and one. Hader. At times can have some trouble with command, but it's that fastball slider combo that is so impressive. And fires in a fastball at 95. That one misses, and it's three and two. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Sets him down looking. Couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball to me. Well, he's going to have some thinking to do when he leaves the ballpark after this one. That was his third strikeout, and this one looking, obviously, so he's been a little overmatched. He's got to find a way just to be more competitive up there at the plate. Now it's the DH. Austin Riley. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Snap throw to first. No, he Harris back easily. Hey. Swings through that one. Oh, oh, oh. Another thing in this part, I mean, he could sneeze one over the left field wall into those Crawford box seats. Swings hey. through that one. No ball, two strikes. Swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Braves strand one, but they still lead this one four to two. on the mound as we roll into the no, bottom of the eighth. Good. Pierce Johnson. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect a tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. And now the first baseman. For the Astros, the first baseman, number 28. And here it comes. That one misses. Ball one. There's a strike. Big, big swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. Left hand hitter waits. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. So the bullpen doing a nice job backing up the effort from their start. Yeah, we've seen some pretty excellent pitching out of this staff so far. I mean, they've come in ready to do their job and get outs. They've been pretty tough to get to in this one. Yaner Diaz digs in now. Outfield deep here, trying to prevent anything over their heads. 
just off the outside edge, and it's one to know. The Braves holding on to a two-run lead here in the bottom half of the eighth inning. And strike one to the catcher. Oh, that's that slurve right there. He threw it extremely well. We're talking about just a ton of breaks. It's so tough to get that barrel to. One ball, two strikes. Swings and misses, struck him out. Chance to strike out the side now. You talk about the benefits, the advantages of relievers who can come in and get the swing and miss, whether it's inherited runners or maybe a little jam that they get into themselves. Knowing that they can miss the bat, tell you what, that's huge and can change the ball game. Tucker in the box here lets that one go for a ball. That two hits balls, the dirt, no and the count is 2-0. and oh. Johnson fires. They're down two balls and a strike. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. And that is that. It's the top of the night, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Penn Murphy. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. And here is Jared Kelnick. The left hander, number 24, Jared Kelnick. Here comes a pitch. There's a strike. Murphy, a 6-2 righty. 29 years old. They got him off of waivers earlier this season. Left hand batter waits. I got a ball. That misses. Right. And it's one and one. expecting that to almost hit you and then end up as a called strike. Now the third baseman, Luis Guillorme. To the right side. Now Tuve handles it. Tosses to first. Two quick outs here at the top of the ninth. Running out of chances to pad the lead. Two outs, space is empty. And next for Atlanta, Travis Dardo. 0 for 3. A fly out, a ground out, and a strikeout. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at all. Activity in the bullpen. Seth Martinez up and loosening in the pen. Montero getting cranked up as well. And the right-hander deals. And it's fouled away. Two down, nobody on. Here at the top of the ninth. Check swing, no Two appeal. Three. Gosh, Boog, I think he's trying to deke the pitcher. There's no way he's thinking he can hit that pitch. Two down, nobody on. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Foul ball still a one and two count. That one missed. 
Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. Two outs. That Just off two. the outside edge. And the count's full. pitch fly ball center field McCormick on the run makes a nice running catch and that'll do it nothing across here this half two three four set to hit in the bottom of the nine it's the Braves four and the Astros two We're back, and on the mound is the closer, Rysel Iglesias. I can't imagine any save is an easy one. You're holding a small lead on the scoreboard, and you know those hitters are going to give you the best at bats they can, so it's always high stress. Let's see what he's got here to try and close it out. And stepping in for the Astros, Jeremy Pena. That's your stop. Jeremy Pena. The wind of the pitch. Yeah, that's a little high. It's getting squeezed a little bit here late. Hey, he's winning a miss. One and one. Hey. And one and two. One ball, two strikes. Stays alive. And down on strikes. And the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. Well, that right there is what you want to see on your closer. Come in and close the door. Cancel any hope that that opponent has in making some type of comeback in the ball game. Tell you what, that helps him settle in, and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. Alvarez, the batter now as he swings and misses for strike one. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. The throw in. Safe at second. Just beat the tag. He was all over that one. Got a fastball, middle of the plate, and jumped all over it. Absolutely smoked that ball. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Jose Altuve. First nope. offering, and it just misses. Lots of anxious fans in the ballpark right now. You can feel it. Jack hey. Swing went around, and that's strike one. Ball, one strike. Ball. Ball, an interesting situation. One swing, you can tie up the ball game. But if you're patient and work a lot, then you bring the game-winning run to the plate. There's a strike, 95 of that one. With the tying run at the plate, and the home team trying to pull it out. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit. But when you've got opportunity, Three. swing and a miss struck him out. And there's two away. Well, that's the money maker right there. Two strikes, now, slider down and away from a same yeah. side thrower as the hitter. I mean, it's just tough. You're looking to protect with two strikes and very difficult to lay off. So it's their last chance in this one. Here's the center fielder, Chaz McCormick. Corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. There's a strike.
Tying run at the plate. Ball. Four and one. They're down to their final strike. One ball, two strikes. This could end it. And a good eye there. That turns out to be a really good take right there, but you don't want to end this game with a bat on your shoulder. Just off the outside edge. Big pitch coming right here. Last thing he wants to do is put the tying run on base, but he can't believe that either. The tying run at the plate. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. The pitch. Foul off again. And it remains three and two. Kicks and deals. And ball four and two more. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. Pretty much the last thing you want from your bullpen arms are free passes, three passes three especially three. in spots like this. Right Make there. the team earn their way out. Here's the third baseman, Alex Bregman. He's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full speed. Swing and a high fly ball. That one out towards left center field. Way back there. He's got it. Ball game. And the Braves lead the series three games to none and have a chance to complete the sweep here tomorrow. All this team needs is one more win. But when you're playing in the postseason, it's not just a win of a game. It's a win of an inning. It's a win of an at-bat. It's a win of a pitch count. And that's what they're going to need to do in the next game to take the series. Here's one final look at the line score from this one, Chris. It was a close two-run game, and a couple of key moments just really made the difference. Not much separates these two teams. And your final 4-2 for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious Atlanta Braves. Four runs, seven hits, no errors. They left six runners on base.